When I thought about the kind of person that I wanted to become, the kind of life that I wanted to live, I really couldn't help but look to him as the embodiment of all that I really wanted to be. In order to be an effective teacher, you can't just know the material. You have to love it. You have to live it. You taught me to have a passion for that psychology. By Furman standards, I was a very average student. There were lots of students who had more uh, natural talent than I did. But Dr. Brewer invested in me anyway. I remember distinctly a time 30 years ago, 1984, class, freshman, no doubt, asked about what does infinity mean? And you took a piece of chalk and went, drew across the board, all the way around the room, went over to the window, threw the chalk out, said, that's infinity. I generated a list of the PhDs in psychology who were my former students, and there are over 200 of them. You can take even a, a marginal kid from Chapin, South Carolina, and prepare him to be a, a college professor. Um, I'm very proud to say that my academic butt was kicked hard and often by Dr. Brewer, and I hope that one day my students will say the same thing about me. My job is here to teach. If they're interested, I'll do everything I can to encourage them to do what they want to do. And incidentally, I have never missed a class in all of these years. Once over dinner, Charles confessed to me that he worked 363 days a year with Christmas and Easter accepted. I have never met somebody more committed to the teaching of psychology, more committed to supporting colleagues, more generous and kind and good humored. We are a mother and daughter who both had Dr. Brewer at Furman. I had him in my senior year, 1969, for statistics, and the, that statistics course still resonates in my mind. And almost um, 30 years later, I had him for my intro to psychology class, and I feel like, still feel like it's a bragging point that I can uh, say that I made two 100s on his on his test in that class. <laughs> and then I also had him for learning. We both believe that he was a major influence on us as we chose our careers. I became a school psychologist and I used over and over my knowledge of statistics from that class. And I'm a clinical psychologist who does educational research. We love you Dr. Brewer and we thank you for your dedication to um, psychology and to your students and to your teaching profession. To a mile children had the opportunity to go to Furman University and they both had the chance to take Dr. Brewer for a class. I'm so glad they had the opportunity to take a class from such a wonderful teacher, one who challenged students while always making the content of the classes so very interesting. I remember a number of times where you acted out information in the classroom crawling on top of desks, crawling under desks, and sharing your personal opinion, as you called it. Your classes were tough, but they were very memorable, and you set a bar for teaching excellence that's been difficult to follow. Even though I'm not sure I'll ever achieve your level of excellence, I know that my own students have benefited from the influence you had on me. I think what we can all thank Charles for in the psychology department is uh, having the vision over the long haul to see what academic, basic scientific psychology should be at the undergraduate level. Without Brewer, I wouldn't be here right now. He had that much of an impact. One of his most popular lectures, given all over the country, addresses his philosophy of teaching. He calls it, Bending Twigs and Affecting Eternity. Today, nearly 50 years after our paths first crossed, I thank him for all his years of influence. Here's to you, Charles Brewer, from the most grateful of twigs. I would just like to thank all of my former students for giving me the opportunity with them to dispel a modicum of ignorance, because that's really what my job is all about, dispelling ignorance, and I work at it almost 24-7.